Hey guys, this is MC back with another custom ROM for K10 Note, G6 Lite, and Lenovo Z5S. In this one, I'm going to teach you how to properly flash H2OS, set up magic, and I'll tell you what's working and what's not working while we're at it. So please listen carefully. And before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to like this video if it's helpful. First, download H2OS ROM and download BitGaps. If you are using Z5S, you need the two ROM, uh, the Z5S vendor. You need to flash that first, and H2OS ROM. If you're using Kten Node, just directly flash the HT H2OS ROM and copy the ROM in SD card or USB OTG, I'm using USB OTG. I'm going to link it in the description, so please read it for additional information. So let's get started. First, as you can see, I'm on Twerp. I'm just gonna plug my USB OTG and reboot to recovery again. wipe advanced wipe wipe all of this don't wipe micro sd card if the rom is in there go back now let's gonna flash it i'm gonna pick my usb otg that's what i'm using so this is my folder. I'm using Z5S, so I need to flash the vendor first. So I'm gonna press this Z5S vendor and add more zip. And now flash the H2O H2OS 9.0.8. And lastly is bit gaps. Flash it. I'm just gonna post this video for now save some time it's finally done as you can see this is the first one that we flash the vendor and the second one is the h2os 9.08 table and lastly is the bit gaps as you guys can see so now let's reboot the system this will boot and automatically send you to twerp again I'm just gonna post this video again. So I remove my SD card and as you can see it's it's booting to H2OS. After this is done booting, you will automatically restart and boot to twerp. They only picked you because they felt sorry for you. Awesome. So why would they feel sorry for me? Well, because they all think you're a uh, you know As you guys can see, it will automatically reboot and this will push it to twerp again. So we're back on twerp. Wait for it to reboot itself. Now go to advance, choose to RM force encrypt. Check this remove DM verity. Wipe. Right. 
reboot the system and wait for it to reboot again to H2OS startup now it's a, it booted to H2OS as you can see there's only three language here Chinese and English so pick English I'm just gonna set up this first change this to small start one plus term and condition agree and decline this user experience program system stability program no thanks again permission agreement agree and sign into your Wi-Fi I'm now in wait for it it's now connected so next one plus account we don't need that so I'm just gonna reject it please unlock it doesn't work so skip this fingerprint it works so set it up I'm just gonna put some pin and fingerprint done As you can see it works well the screen of gesture doesn't work so we're gonna skip this and disable all of it let it as default I'm gonna use one plus leak As you can see, now let's talk about what's working and what's not working. Let's go to settings, utilities, gaming mode, gaming mode works, and even fanatic mode works. The gesture, gesture works. This is the full screen gesture, it works. I'm sorry I I'm sorry that I have some a shitty camera here. That one works. One thing I like about this ROM is the opening of app. It's so fast. And the UI is so smooth. As you can see, screen recorder works. This works. Now I'm going to teach you how to uninstall the Chinese apps. This Chinese app and install Magisk. As you can see, there's already Magisk here. I won't focus. I'm gonna lower the brightness. There you go. As you can see, if you click it, nothing will happen and wait for it upgrade full magisk manager to finish that up click yes and wait for it to download the magisk installer
it will pop up out of nowhere so just wait this will suddenly pop up and allow magic manager to install apps allow continue to install open require additional setup so press yes press ok wait for this after this is done the phone will automatically reboot and you will have a working magisk as you guys can see rebooting in 5 seconds this will automatically restart I'm gonna post this video to save some time and now we're back as you guys can see Magisk is now working you can now download modules take note that you can update Magisk manager but you cannot update the Magisk itself we're at I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill this We're at Magix 19.0 and Magix Manager is up to date. So you can update Magix Manager but do not update Magix update this one. Do not update this one because if you update this it will, it will cause boot loop. So do not update this and but you can update Magix Manager. And lastly, to uninstall the bloatwares, like this Chinese app at the bottom, you just need to sign in your Google account. Just sign in. I'm gonna sign in first. So I'm logging in. And now let's install system uninstaller. Install this app. After that is done, as you can see, there's still the Chinese app there. So we're just gonna restart. Now we're back, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do some finishing touches as you can see there's no more Chinese app just gonna turn off the game mode and go to settings and go to storage storage manager turn this on 
after doing that, I'm gonna boot to Torp. Just gonna open my disk and modules and and reboot to recovery. Now we're back to recovery. Just put your passcode. So the passcode that I put is four zero. Press check and go to wipe, advanced wipe. We're just gonna wipe Dalvik, cache and cache. So wipe that. Reboot the system. We are back and up. As you can see, it's all clean now, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like this video if you like it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys, again. Goodbye.